All right, so we're going to edit, a, edit our R scripts. So one of the consoles or the quadrants that I showed you in our studio has uh, an editor that we can create R, uh, a script of R commands and execute them one-on-one -on -one or edit them and run them again. So uh, what's really nice is that even though, again, just to remind you, even though we, uh, R saves a history of all your commands in the history tab, it's really good idea to save all the ones that actually worked, okay? So remember that. Uh, there is a file called .rhistory that will show up in your working directory. Um, that's where all the commands are saved. And, but again, it's a really good idea to keep a separate file for your editors. So th in that quadrant that I showed you where you're typing in your R commands, that's where you would put in all your commands in R that actually worked and were successful. Okay, so the way you start a new editor is if you go to the R Studio and click on the new script and from the file menu, and then you will get a blank screen that will look just like, let's say, a notepad or notepad plus plus, and that's where you can type in your code. Using code that's written in uh, other applications like MS Word or even the one works or the pages on Macs, those aren't really good ideas because a lot of simple notations like quotes or parentheses get, have a special characters, a special uh, definitions behind them for their formatting and so on. So when you copy and paste it from there into your R console, it looks gibberish, okay? So you don't want to use Word or PDF. You just want to stick with a simple text editor like the one that's in R Studio, uh, or just simply uh, Notepad++ or something like that, okay? And another nice thing about uh, using um, the text editor that's there is that there is also a source command on the top menu. Uh, we'll see that later on in the live coding practice video. But the source command basically takes in the entire file of the commands and it just runs them. So imagine you have a whole list of commands that you're doing to do, let's say, your homework, right? So instead of having to write each of those commands again and again, you can put all those commands in one file and then use the source command or even in the source option and it will simply read the entire document and run one line at a time as if you were typing them. Okay, so another nice thing uh, is that using uh, this editor, we can use all our familiar shortcuts like copy, uh, paste. Uh, there's also to clear the console if you need. So that's not in the editor. This is more in the console. And whenever there's an R command running and you feel like it's going to uh, taking too long and you want to stop it, you can press the escape key or there's also a little red X button in the console.